Hi everyone, welcome back to new video. So, okay, in this video, a project name called Charity Application. Delighted you are here. Okay, so this is a blockchain project where this combines both centralized and decentralized network itself. So I'll guide you or I'll demonstrate you how this project works. And uh, yeah, that's it. So yeah, before doing the demonstration or presentation so there are few things which has to be set up earlier itself so that i'm going to show first then we'll go one by one all right so first so this is our login page actually okay so this is our login page uh this is admin login page basically so if we go to the actual login page so this is our actual login page where user can able to register and they can able to be the part of the system Okay, so now we'll log in with an, with an admin, means this other step which has to be done before giving the demonstration or before giving presentation of your project. Okay, so uh, we'll be logging with the admin name admin2, alright. So, I log in with this admin and what is the feature of this admin before that, before that, so just listen carefully, I'll just give you a overview of this project, how it actually works and I'll go with the demonstration one by one. So listen carefully. See, this is a uh, charity application where, where, means, this project actually solves, means, uh, actually solves by keeping a track of the funds, okay. How in the sense, let's say you, a user wants to transfer a money uh, or funds giving providing funds for a charity let's say abc all right so now uh, people can able to track okay since it is a pu public blockchain people are able to track that okay this charity abc is receiving this much of amount okay and you can able to check what they are using with that particular amount means you can able to come to know how much how much this charity is actually receiving from which particular user okay yes so user can able to transfer funds from funds from his from his money to any other charity you want okay or he or she or the user wants all right so yes so i just log in with the admin so what is the role of this admin is so this there are two admins basically so admin one and admin two. So basically I have logged in with admin two. So admin one in the sense, uh, as of now I just gave a name as a superintendent. Okay. So superintendent is a kind of an admin where he is responsible to add uh, who is going to allocate the funds to the system and who is going to allocate the funds to the user wallet. Okay. So now what is the role of this admin which I have logged in, which is admin two. So this admin role is to add add the users or add the nodes to the application okay if they want to be a part of the decentralized network or to the blockchain network means they need to be a part of that application right so this admin is responsible to add that user okay so as of now as you can see uh, no user information is there because no user has been created yet so before that we need to add one more ad uh, one more user over here which is superior okay so here we have i'll just go to here home or i'll just directly log in with this and admin and I click on add a node all right so i'm going to add a node first okay what i'm going to do i'll just take an account from here okay so i'm going to take the second one so here i'm going to give you the public address already have imported the account as an admin over here means which are the first second you are using in this application that account is considered as admin account so whether i imported let me check okay i have not imported yet so let me import it quickly so this is the first account i am using this particular account as a admin account so when you are accessing the application for the first time and whichever the account you going to import in the metamask so that account is considered as an admin account okay so import account paste it here import I'll just rename this so that in the same application I'll be accessing the different users right so I should not get confusion while doing this so that's why like this okay so let's connect to this site and quick refresh so that it gets refreshed everything so I'm going to add a user right now okay with this address means he's going to be the part of the system so his address 
and here I'm mentioning that as a superior debt and I'm going to give a name as superior debt. All right. So add user and here we got a metamask pop up and here from a admin account. Okay. This is this is getting loaded because probably I am running multiple servers together in a system. So that's why my system got a bit slow. Yes. So from this admin account, I am going to give a confirmation to do this particular transaction. Means whatever you do in the blockchain network is considered as a transaction. Okay. So I want to confirm. Means I need to do a transaction of adding a user by giving a confirm, clicking confirm button over here as a digital signature to make this transaction. I'll click on confirm. So you'll get a pop-up as superintendent has been added to the system. That's it. So now that superintendent has been added. So to not get confusion, I'll just add this superintendent over here. Okay. Mm, like this, I'll just keep it ready because I'm going to use the same account, right? So multiple accounts I'll be using in the single metamask. So I'll be get confused with account two, three. So that's why. So I'll give this name as superior dent. Whenever the superior dent is logged in, so he can able to access with this account directly to the metama. So, but as of now, we're in the admin right now. Okay. So I can close this tabs if I want. All right. I'll go to the same dashboard over here. Okay. So now we'll register as a user. Okay. Let's log out from here. Okay. We'll register. Let's say I'm going to give a name as, uh, let's say Abhinaya. All right. Phone number, I'm just sending a random phone number over here. And a mail ID. Username I'm going to give as Abhinaya and 1234. And this user should give his or her or his or her uh, public address to be the part of the system. So if you are doing any transaction in a blockchain network means or if you want to access a blockchain network means you should have a public address. You should ha have to create a your public address. You can directly uh, normally you can able to create a public address. You can log into uh, blockchain.com and you can log in. In real world I am speaking but you have already a, a Ganache over here. Ganache which helps us to give uh, 10 free accounts to access it. So paste it that particular address and i'm going to register the registration successful i just log in quickly and sign in so i have logged in oh i think i have uh, already transferred some amount with Binaya. i believe means since again i have registered okay yes no problem because this i guess i have transferred it earlier probably this data has been all Abhinay user has been already present in the database available. So that's why. Okay, no problem with that. Okay, chalo. So now we just taken a public address, right? So let me import it here. Anyway, I'll be using this user, right? So later. So that's why I'll keep it and ready. Okay, import, paste it, done. And here I'm going to give a name as Abhinaya, all right. Cool. Let's see. Yeah. So now this user has feature means he or she can able to transfer the amount. So this is just a dummy uh, payment portal right now because we can't able to do a actual payment transfer. But yes, uh, this is a prototype as of now means POC. Okay. So we'll transfer and here you can able to see total funds transferred by a particular user means by Abhinaya. So he or she has to give their public address to transfer the money okay so public address just i'm um, just giving a random card number over here and here i'm let's say i want to transfer about uh fifty thousand okay let's do not fifty thousand let's say six thousand is fine for now okay so fund has been transferred successfully if you see over here so funds has been transferred by abhinaya on this particular date is 16th today's date is 16 right now as you can see in my system 16 april sunday so six six thousand has been transferred today and this is the what are the amount you are seeing okay this is the total fund transferred by abhinaya okay cool all right
So now I am going to log out from here and wait. You can directly access the decentralized network, but as of now, this user has been not been added to the system. So I'll just log out and log in as an admin. Okay. So this time I'm using admin to work out. Okay. Admin two is responsible to add the users to the system. See, it says status Abhinaya, we just created a user and means earlier actually the funds had been deleted in the backend database but this user have uh, added earlier so i and again deleted from the table itself that's so that's why you were seeing the funds extra okay but no worries with that all right so this is the abhinaya which has been registered so this is the public address so we'll add this user to the system okay uh you can directly click on this centralized network over here okay like this so you can give the public address directly and uh, this is a user actually and let's say i am going to give a name as abhinaya all right so add user okay so confirm all right so abhinaya has been added to the system already so now one more thing I forgot to tell before adding the user means when you added the admin for the first time right that time you need to add one more thing what charities okay you need to add the charities to the system okay so I'm going to use the third account because if charity is only not present in the system means how can you be able to transfer the funds right so this is the address for a charity so charity and I'm going to give a charity name as charity a b and c okay and and we'll copy this private key because i need to import this so add user this step has to be done beginning before adding a user itself when you add the super end right that time itself you need to add okay yes okay so now i'll just import the same account so that i'll be using this charity later to cross check whether the funds has been received or not so that's why so select okay so let's import a new account here is it done and i'm going to rename this as charity abc charity abc done oh oops charity a b c done so check good so i can directly close this now it's not required so user user has been added already and just you need to update the status over here like this update status the status has been updated so before it was not added if you refresh the page you can able to get as abina user has been added to the system that's it so now this particular admin task is done all right so let's log out so now the second admin work starts here admin sign in so this is the admin what is this admin work is admin this admin is responsible to add the user amount to the system okay as you can see i'll just yeah i'm sorry yes so here is the abhinaya which has because late, earlier i didn't deleted this entire data so that's why you were able to see abhinaya's extra amount like 2000 3300 right so that way you will see so i didn't delete this data from the back end so that way you see that okay anyway so abhinaya has transferred 6000 so we need to add the 6000 to the system so i'll just click on to the centralized network over here okay so i'll copy the address of abhinaya before that we need to allocate this 6000 to the system so let's allocate it so allocate the funds 6000 allocate funds okay so now the funds has been is going to be allocated oh wait one thing we have missed it i'll show you see you are getting an error why you have logged in with the one more admin and that admin name is superident so you need to have superident you need to change your account to superident so that's why you're getting an error so i'll just reject it over here i'll just change the account just quickly just change the account so metamask and uh, yes so this time we need to take superior dent account very superior dent account uh, superior dent 
Okay, didn't I imported the superior data kernel? I did right. So okay, I guess I missed it. Probably uh, forgot to import it. So, but now I have a confusion which account to use. But I think I remember. So this is the account I have used for a superior. So let's import it. I forgot to import it over here. So yeah, this is okay. Okay, this account has been already imported. So let me check. I think I have imported. Oh, here we have already. We have already superior. So I didn't see. Okay, superior end, connect, and just a quick refresh. All right. So now we'll allocate the funds to the system. So this, when you allocate the funds, this funds is going to store in superior end account in his particular account. So from there, he need to transfer to the users, and he can able to allocate to the users. So now we are not getting error. Just give a confirmation, and that's it. Cool. Okay. So done. As you can see over here, six thousand has been transferred, means allocated to the funds on this particular date, Sunday, April sixteen, twenty twenty three. Okay. So now I'll go to the dashboard and allocate the funds. Uh, not funds. Actually, I need to transfer it. So I'll just go back. And technically, superior end is also considered as a user. So here, user. And transfer funds to a user work here first. Okay, so just ignore this. Uh, Abhinaya, right? So transfer details. Allocate funds. And sanction amount is six thousand. Okay, see remaining balance is six thousand. Means it came to superior account. Now we are transferring to Abhinaya. So sanction funds. means what you just did you are transferring your users amount to their account okay so now your remaining balance is zero right so this amount has been transferred to abinaya let's say okay as you can see this has been transferred for abinaya's account from superior end to abinaya 6000 rupees allocate funds on this particular date right so you just you can close it that's it now we we'll log in with the user okay so log out with abinaya's account one two three four is the password which i give okay so now abinaya can able to directly access to the central decentralized network work here by clicking on this and they can transfer the funds to ngo okay so now here the account is showing zero the reason because here you have imported means we have been imported with superdent account so let's change it to a binance account okay mm, a binance and we'll connect it and just a quick refresh that's all okay so as you can see in a binance account now we have 6000 right so in 6000 so we'll transfer this funds to charity abc and funds will be uh for medical purpose means uh let's say user wants his or her amount to use for medical purpose only so they are transferring 3000 3000 so sanction funds and let's give a confirmation from here confirm okay So now, if you see funds has been sanctioned and that has been recorded over here. So Abhinay transferred three thousand to a charity named A B C for medical purpose on this particular date. And so, if you go to the home page, you can able to see how much money has been transferred over here. See, and if see public and ab don't require to have a blockchain account or anything, so they can come to this application and they can view, they can view over here. all right so how much amount has been transferred from where to where everything can be tracked over here which means it is going to be visible for entire public so this is how we can able to track this applic we can able to track the funds which has been transferred between the charities okay so just one more cross check we'll just one more uh, we'll do a yeah, one more cross check we have transferred 
3000 foreign charity apc right so let us cross check okay this is the uh, abinaya's account okay let's say i'll just give one more uh, uh, transfer over here for our charity abc and let's say education and amount will be 2000 all right sanction points sanction funds and confirm okay so now if you see in abina second you have thousand rupees all right so now let's just cross check means let's assume that charity uh, abc is logging in through this account so if you go to the charity over here and let's connect it just a quick refresh if you see over here the charity has five thousand in their account which means uh, transfer from Abinea 3 plus 2 5000 okay you can able to see the details over here all right so this is how your application actually works all right so i hope you understand how this actual application works and the demonstration of this particular project all right so if you have any question you can ask all right so that's all about it and take care goodbye bye bye